Hello everyone, hope you're doing well, and of course Arnie does too. And today's video I'll be going through one of my favourite and probably one of the most strangest creatures in the ocean, the cuttlefish. Now there are over 120 species of cuttlefish in the world, with one of the largest being the giant Australian cuttlefish, and one of the smallest being the flamboyant cuttlefish. But I'll get onto that little creature later on in the video. Now cuttlefish can be found in most tropical and temperate oceans around the world, but unfortunately they're totally absent from the Americas. Now cuttlefish are some of the most alien creatures that inhabit this planet, and they're so alien in fact that they've been inspired a wild theory that octopuses and cuttlefish were actually transported to this planet on a meteor. And although this theory is very outlandish, when you look into the cuttlefish's behaviour and abilities, it's easy to see how they inspired these theories. And one of the best ways to start learning about the cuttlefish is to look at its anatomy. Cuttlefish are marine mollusks. And just like many other mollusks, the cuttlefish has a shell. But if you're lucky enough to have seen a cuttlefish either in an aquarium or in the wild, it doesn't look like it has a shell at all. And that's because it's hiding its shell inside its body. And if you live near the ocean where the cuttlefish live, you might have seen the shell wash up on beaches. But these shells are also sold in pet stores as a calcium supplement for domestic birds. But when the cuttlefish is still alive, this internal shell acts as a buoyancy device. As the shell is porous and the cuttlefish regulates how much gas enters this shell so it can easily control its place in the water column. But the cuttlefish is also hiding something else within its body. As unlike you and I, the cuttlefish actually has three hearts. And two of these hearts are used to pump blood into the cuttlefish's large gills and the third heart is used to circulate oxygenated blood to the rest of the body. And the blood that's pumped throughout the cuttlefish's body is actually a blue-green colour. And this is because it contains a copper-based protein, whereas human blood contains an iron-based protein, making our blood red. Now in the animal kingdom there are some weird shaped eyes. You have the goat that has a horizontal pupil, and then you have crocodilians that have a vertical shaped pupil. But none of these come close to the cuttlefish, as the cuttlefish actually has a W-shaped pupil. And this not only looks cool, but gives them extraordinary vision. Because cuttlefish can see what's in front of them and behind them, and they can do this just as easily as we would focus on something close to us and something far away. But although this is very impressive, all cuttlefish species are actually colourblind, so the ocean looks like a very different place to a cuttlefish. And just like their close relatives, cuttlefish have eight arms, but in addition to this they also have two tentacles, and these are used to quickly grasp its prey once it gets close enough to strike. But that swiftly brings us on to the second part of this video, intelligence. Now cuttlefish are some of the most intelligent invertebrates in the world and have one of the largest brain to body ratios of all invertebrates. And they use this intelligence to their advantage, as in the competitive oceans, cuttlefish lie in the middle of the food chain, feeding on things such as crabs, shrimp, octopus and worms, but they fall prey to dolphins, sharks, large fish, seals and seabirds. And even though cuttlefish can use jet propulsion by using their siphon to expel water from the mantle cavity, they aren't the best of swimmers, so they rely on their intelligence and a whole box of tricks to both avoid predators and catch their prey. One of the ways in which they do this is mimicry, as cuttlefish are sometimes referred to as the chameleons of the sea, as they have amazing colour changing abilities, and they use this ability to perfectly match their surroundings. And cuttlefish can almost change their colour instantaneously, as three different layers of cells expand and contract to saturate the visible skin. And one of the most impressive things is that this coloration doesn't have to be static, as they can change colour and rapid patterns to make it look like ripples in colour or to mimic the light through the water. But if mimicking the colour of its surroundings wasn't enough, they can even mimic the texture, as they can extend and retract tiny bumps along their body to change the texture of their skin, so they can turn their skin very bumpy if they were to mimic a rock, or very smooth if they were trying to blend in with the ocean floor. But the mimicry goes even further, as they're known to hold their eight arms in positions to help mimic corals or seagrass, and they've gotten so good at this in fact, that they're even known to mimic other animals, as one small cuttlefish can almost perfectly imitate a hermit crab, and I'll leave a link to that video down below, because it really is amazing what these creatures can do. So all of these abilities make the cuttlefish a master of disguise, meaning that they can hide away from much larger, more agile predators. But they also use these powers when they go on the offensive as well, as when they're approaching prey, they're known to turn their bodies into a pulsating light show, and this almost hypnotises their prey, meaning that they stay completely still until it's too late. And one of the cuttlefish's favourite foods is shrimp and researchers have used their love of shrimp to find out something very interesting about them. As a study found that a one month old cuttlefish could easily tell the difference between a box with four shrimp in it and a box with five shrimp in it, and each time the cuttlefish would choose the box with more shrimp. They then increased the number of shrimp in each box, and when these boxes contained more shrimp, the cuttlefish took longer to decide which box to choose, which these researchers considered evidence that the cuttlefish were physically counting the number of shrimp before making their decision on which box to choose. And the fact that this cuttlefish 
cuttlefish could do this at one month old is really remarkable. But there's a reason why cuttlefish develop so quickly, as they have a very short lifespan, as most cuttlefish species only live for around two years old, with one of the oldest living being the giant Australian cuttlefish, living to a maximum age of around four years. But even with its power of mimicry and its superior intelligence, it can find itself in some very sticky situations. And when faced with a predator such as a shark or a dolphin, it has one last escape plan. Because just like octopus and squid, the cuttlefish is able to expel ink from its body, creating a large dark cloud which confuses the predator while it sneakily makes its escape. But that finally brings us on to our last section, reproduction. Now in the cuttlefish world, males tend to vastly outnumber the females. So this means that if you're a male trying to attract a female, you need to put on a good show. As the male cuttlefish put on a dramatic colour changing show to woo the females. And because females are so hard to come by, male cuttlefish will guard a female very aggressively. But some very sneaky smaller males have found a way to bypass this aggression. As some smaller males known as sneaker males will often imitate female cuttlefish so that they can sneak by the aggressive males. And they do this by changing their colour to a duller tone and making their arms look smaller. And a 2004 five study showed that this deception works for the cross-dressing male around half of the time. And cuttlefish mating happens face to face, as the male gives its sperm package to the female for her to fertilise the eggs. But female cuttlefish like to keep their options open, and during the mating season she'll mate with a variety of males, and she'll store each of these sperm packets in her mouth until she's comfortable enough to lay her eggs. And when the female does so, she does it very carefully, as she'll often find sheltered areas such as under rocks or in crevices along the coral and then she would carefully lay her eggs. And before the cuttlefish has even started its life journey, it's pretty well developed. As upon hatching, baby cuttlefish's eyes are almost completely developed, and even when they're still inside the egg, they are constantly monitoring potential prey as well as looking out for predators. And this really gives them a good head start on a very short but eventful life. But now we've been through some of the things that make cuttlefish so interesting, it's time to move on to one of my favourite species, the flamboyant cuttlefish. Now the flamboyant cuttlefish is one of the smallest cuttlefish in the world and reaches a maximum size of around 8 centimetres or around 3.1 inches. And these little aliens can be found in the Indo-Pacific along many of the islands around Australia. And even in the cuttlefish world, this little guy is strange, as they can normally be found ambling along the sea floor on two arms, as it uses a combination of its smallest arms and its fins to make a leg-like structure, meaning they walk along the seabed almost like a bulldog. And even though it's a very small creature, it doesn't dart away when threatened, as it often remains completely stationary, flashing a vast array of hypnotic colours. And this is how this species got it its name. This bold coloration of behaviour is a warning sign to other predators, as the flamboyant cuttlefish is the only toxic species of cuttlefish in the world, and the toxins in their muscle tissue are what give this species its colour. And researchers are still finding more out about these toxins, but it's said to be as lethal as the blue ringed octopus. So not only is it small and beautiful, but it also has a very feisty personality. But once the flamboyant cuttlefish has lived out its life cycle, the female will carefully disperse the eggs, as some have been known to place them inside of coconut shells shells, but after this the male and the female quickly pass away, and this is a very poetic end for such a fascinating creature. But that's about it for this video, let me know if you have any more interesting cuttlefish facts, and you can leave them down in the comments below, as I've only really scratched the surface on this topic. But thanks for watching, if you liked it please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these, but until next time, goodbye.